working my butter into my flour. So it kind of feels like cornmeal. Little, little, little pea-shaped parts of butter. That's going to make this nice, light, and fluffy. After they're beat, that is. Hello. My name is Suzanne Corbett, and I'm a Foodways interpreter here with the Ulysses S. Grant Historic Site. And this happens to be one of Julia Dent's, Grant's favorite memories of a childhood treat, Maryland biscuits. Now, Maryland biscuits are beaten biscuits. Why are they beaten? To get them tender and flaky. And it's a very simple recipe. It is nothing but flour, butter, or lard. Have a little bit of pearl ash in there, a little bit of baking soda, and then you add a little bit of buttermilk or cream, and that's what's going to make them nice and tender. I don't want to overcook, overbeat this too much because I want to be able to get it on the board so I can beat it on the board. Add a little flour. Now a Maryland biscuit was one of those everyday biscuits. You would have a a mallet, a beaten biscuit mallet. You might even see a biscuit break, which is something that has a rotary handle to it, and you feed it in, which looks more like a uh, pasta machine today. But it was for breaking up the biscuit, and breaking that biscuit up, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to this, it's because it got a little dry. Any good cook that worked for the dents knew how to work with their recipes to make them work just right. And a biscuit, if it gets too dry, you add a little bit of water to wet a little bit of flour. Now, when it comes to the beaten part, why would you beat your biscuit? To actually make it tender, because the more you beat it, what happens is that it breaks that gluten and the butter that's in the dough into small bits. And that's going to make that biscuit fluffy, make it bake light. So how long do you beat your biscuit? Ooh, about a half an hour. You beat it long enough until you can start to see the dough blister. So that tells me that that butter has been broken into the dough, and when it hits a hot oven, it's going to treat it almost like a puff pastry does, that'll melt and make that a very fluffy biscuit. Now since there's very few ingredients in this, any biscuit is best when it's taken directly from the oven, because that's when it's gonna be its lightest and fluffiest. We'll call that enough for now. And you can cut this into circles. I'm going to cut this batch into squares. You can kind of see where the butter starts to raise to the top. Cut it up. Add it down. Poke some holes. A little steam release and give it a little personality. Bake in a hot oven 
a fast oven until it's nice and brown and then enjoy. Anything left over, break it into a pudding or you can also use it as a topper for a meat pie. And that's another treat, but that's another story and another recipe.